Hi everyone, this is Kelly from MC Electrical and today we're looking at your electricity bill and understanding your solar charges and savings. So the first thing you'll do when you open your bill is see that there's an amount due. We all know what that means, but we want to understand what this entails. So we'll scroll down and we'll look at the tariffs. So the first tariff that you can see here and the only tariff that's available on this bill is a peak usage at 23.26 cents. For some this might be called a tariff 11. For others, they may also have a tariff 33, which includes supply up to 18 hours, uh, and it's good for small hot water systems, a pool, air conditioning, clothes dryers, um, and in return gives you a cheaper rate of about 20 cents. So that's about 18 hours in the day. There's also a tariff 31 that some people have, it supplies you for eight hours overnight, um, and that's suitable for large hot water systems, and you can get that at about 16 cents um, inclusive of GST. So the thing we're looking at here is we're gonna scroll down, and people typically see the solar feeding credit and think that that's all that their bill is saving them. So here you can see um, there's an $86.34 credit. Now, what your bill doesn't tell you and what some people don't realize is that it does not tell you how much you've saved off your electricity. You can kind of see if you've had your system for a long time, we'll scroll up here, you can see that this one's had a 56% decrease since the last year. But if you've just got your solar, you've just got your first bill, it doesn't show you how much you're saving. It only shows you the power that you fed back into the grid, which is your feed-in tariff. Um, and it doesn't give you a record of how much you've used directly from your solar system in your home. So we're going to look at that next in using a Fresenius Smart Meter online monitoring tool, which shows you your production and consumption.